Developing tonight, an investigation is underway in Richmond in McHenry County after somebody used AI to put the heads of high school students onto explicit images. The details in this story are disturbing. WGN's Dana Rebick is following the story from Richmond tonight. I know we're all a little just distraught about the situation and we don't know how to handle it. Stevie Hyder, a sophomore at Richmond Burton High School, found out Tuesday there were disturbing photos of her circulating. I felt really violated and it was just really gross to see. This was the picture a fellow student is accused of altering using AI technology, using her face but swapping a nude body. We aren't showing any form of the doctored photo to protect the teen, and she wasn't alone. There have not been any, you know, charges brought forth, so there's no arrest yet, but it is an ongoing investigation. Um, they said they believe there's about 30 students affected and I believe three uh, staff members. Um, I think they were teachers that were involved. A lot of them were just uh, like photos with friends from like birthday party outings. Uh, there was a lot of homecoming and prom. In this context, there's definitely a need for quick action. The potential for harm is is great. In the world of AI, there are video and photo swapping apps that have come under fire, where a user can even crop someone's face into an adult video, creating pornographic images of people without their consent. The problem is that I think the advancement of the technology and the deployment of this technology is uh, going much, much more quickly than, uh, than you know, regulations or uh, policies that uh, potentially govern the use of these technologies. At the federal level, Congress is currently considering legislation called the Defiance Act that would better regulate the AI world and deep fakes. And this is really disturbing to their entire careers. Um, moving forward in life, college applications they're worried about. Um, they're worried about what if they do something professionally in the future and these um, images surface. Um, that's really scary for them. It can take a psychological toll on victims. Since the technology is so new, the law isn't clear cut. If a fake body attached to a minor's photo is considered illegal. To me, it falls right into child pornography, and that's exactly, in my opinion, what it is. I think it's creating it. I think it's um, distributing it. I think that it should be, you know, charged accordingly, in my opinion. I just really hope that he, this doesn't, he doesn't get away with it, and I really hope that he realizes what he did was wrong. I, it's not right, and he shouldn't have done that. That girl's mother tells us a detective with the Richmond Police Department confirmed that they are now working with the McHenry County State's Attorney to determine what charges could potentially apply to this case. We did reach out to Richmond Burton High School. The principal tells us he cannot comment due to the ongoing investigation. In Richmond, Dana Rebick, WGN News.